We're going up the hill to reach the Ganung Raya. Let's take a ride. Another beautiful morning in Lankavi. As usual, we woke up early, had breakfast at the hotel, and embarked on our new adventure. This time, we decided to visit the highest point in Lankavi, Gunung Raya. In Malay, Gunung means mountain. As any road that leads to the top of the mountain, it is winding with sharp turns and steep uphills. Some parts of the road are very bumpy with potholes, so be careful when driving your motorbike. Also, watch out for monkeys crossing the road. We encountered quite a few hanging around by the road doing their monkey business. the top of Gunung Raya and I gotta tell you it's a very long ride and it's really cold I'm not kidding you I was freezing so if you're going up especially on motorbike make sure that you grab some kind of jacket or a sweater or a scarf something to keep you warm fill up the gas in your motorbike and grab some water because there are no pit stops on the way it's just one straight road up and it never ends so you're getting full bomb, baby. seriously go away <laughs> I'm not sure if it's too early, which I wouldn't say because it's past 10 a.m., but we're the only people here. There's one lonely motorbike just behind me, but I think it belongs to the locals that are cutting grass, and you might hear the sound. It's very quiet in here. A little bit creepy. And a little bit creepy. But we love it. We like to be the only explorers and not to fight for the spot to take a picture or, you know, elbow other people and be around big crowds, so it's great. Being the only people here was definitely rewarding as we got a chance to enjoy the breathtaking views and snap a few great pictures. Here at the top you can pay 10 ringgit and go up to the tower to see even more stunning views of the island. We unfortunately didn't get a chance to visit the tower since it was closed at this hour, so we visited a few other lookout points instead. Gunung Rai is the highest peak on Lankavi Island, rising 881 meters above the sea level. Whenever we travel to a new place, one of the things on our to-do list is to visit its highest point, if it has one. That's a dope view. But every day the view gets better and better. I'm not afraid of heights, but even my heart is racing a little. hill back to our motorbike actually on the very top of the hill there is a hotel located it's called the coconut hill hotel so if you need to use a washroom or grab some food I believe they have two different restaurants one is definitely Vietnamese and the other one I think it's Italian so that would be the only place to eat or to use a washroom up in Ganung uh, Raya there are a lot of lookout points located here. We just visited one. We're gonna go check out another one as well. And the action is starting. One car. One bike, and there's another car, one more, and it's 11.30, so I'm guessing that's when people start to arrive. We decided to wrap things up here at the top and visit another lookout point just a few minutes down the hill. Yep. Instead of trimming leaves. Hi. Hi. Careful. Thank you. This grass, okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Careful. Yeah, thank you. 
To reach the top of Gunung Rai, it's over 10 kilometers by car or bike. An alternative option would be to do a very challenging and long hike through the forest and up the stairs. We suggest hiring a tour guide that will take you through the dense forest safely. I found Chinese money or Japanese, whatever it is. Jungle. Jungle. Real jungle. This particular grass is a pretty sharp one. To be very careful. Man, it's like a razor sharp. Let me see if we can zoom in and see what it's killing. Yeah. Well, monkeys? What kind of monkeys? The usual ones? A little, yeah. The steps are very steep. visit to Gunung Rai a whole day trip if you partake in hike. Or you can do a quick trip up and down with a short walk around in about two, two and a half hours as we did. Okay. Okay. Trying to catch my breath. Back on a bike? Yeah. See some more things? Let's go. Way down, we made a few more stops to enjoy nice scenery and also simply to rest from sitting on the bike. We also started to get hungry, so I took a moment to research some places in the vicinity to grab lunch. You ready to roll? Always ready. Born ready. I'm getting hungry. Always hungry. And always hungry. Always ready to eat. Go. Get some okay, I think you forgot something. That's, uh, that's all you. I got you. We just got down the hill onto the main highway. The whole trip took us a little bit over three hours. I mean, if you have a little bit of extra time and you want to see some spectacular views, absolutely give it a try. But it was quite a trip to make it from our hotel, which took over an hour and then go up the hill which was really long and as, as I mentioned before very cold and then again going down it's it's a long trip so if you got some time do it if not it can be skipped in our opinion after considering a few options we decided to drive straight to our favorite Tanjung Ru beach and grab lunch at one of the beachfront cafes here the iced coffee iced coffee sweet just not too sweet. Okay, one, um, one big uh, bottle of water and uh, bush watermelon juice. The other way. And uh, watermelon juice. Juice and yeah. <laughs> And food with it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Fluent Malay. <laughs> Enjoying your lunch? I am. And the view. Yeah, nice view. We spend the rest of the day just lounging under the sun and enjoying the quiet vibe of this beach. Stay tuned for more episodes from Lankavi before we head out to the capital of Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. Woohoo!